Hey all! Today I'm going to show you what I added to the game engine I'm writing. The new features that were added was uh, cube maps, shadows and compute shaders and I'm looking forward to show it. Okay, let's start the presentation part. I am going to start the level. And as you can see, shadows and cube maps, I guess, is the most uh, visual uh, change. So also from like the small uh, things that were changed is the transparent UI, which is going to be uh, lit with the, like the background going to be not transparent when the window is uh, focused and I really like it so much. I think it looks so cool and sexy and I can't like uh, help myself. I'm not sure what you guys will think about this uh, design <laughs> because probably lots of people might find it inconvenient, but I don't know, I think it's very cool. And I can still like select some render targets for the visualization and now when the window is unfocused it looks like this and it is so cool in my opinion I don't know very 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 beautiful I don't know I like it so yeah uh, and now in the rendering tab you can um, spot new checkboxes which were added one for the shadow for a cube up cube map and for particles which stands for the um, compute shader itself and the shadows can be simply disabled and re-enabled. Also, the uh, light, uh, the light position can be changed. And now you usually can spot some artifacts when the light position is not in convenient position. And especially it is, uh, I guess, done due to my uh, shadow setup which is not using or the projection matrix but just some like uh, perspective projection one because it was like i was following some tutorial and i just wanted to make it ready to have it and uh, i don't know if uh, like i'm not sure if it will be gone if i will add some csm with rust and cooling i don't know but i will I, I will hope that yes and for now it looks like this because i really wanted just to test whether i can set up shadow mapping paths in my vulcan engine so uh, yeah i don't know why i'm trying to <laughs> explain it uh, the other thing is that uh, you can disable cube maps and you will have the uh, initial setup uh, with a black background and uh, yeah, still can move objects and we can wait oh yeah, yeah diffuse color made something different anyway don't care uh, we can change cube maps and it's super awesome also by pressing particle uh, thing you can enable particle um, compute shader rendering when and when it started to work for the first time i was like mostly crying because it was like very very beautiful uh, achievement for me and i wasn't able to believe that I could do something like this, it's still like very broken and uh, would need to have much more of love in it, but uh, still the way that I understand that I can like now render, like compute something uh, on the compute course, it's like makes me absolutely thrilled and I was using Android SDK tutorial for it and uh, I don't know, like maybe maybe i missed something but like this is my uh, flickering results uh, with the computer pass enabled and it actually was very interesting approach because uh, first you have a buffer of the predefined 
um, amount of particles and you have like position, velocity and color. Um, and you change the position according to velocity every frame in this compute shader and then you use the positions and the colors to build a vertex primitives and I, I was setting up the pipeline using primitive topology point list and literally I was just like creating vertices by myself and it is very cool I never done it before and I was very very impressed by it and like yeah so we have like basically two passes we use uh, compute pass to compute new positions and we use another like uh, vertex and fragment shader to draw this uh, particles and which was very cool. I'm not sure if I can go through all the code details because it was too much of it uh, to, in order to make it run. Yeah, so and, uh, in general it was a very interesting journey. I'm wondering how could I potentially use it in uh, my next steps. I have a very very big uh, hopes for compute shaders in my engine. i am already started to look into indirect uh, drawing in Vulkan and unfortunately it's going a bit slower because there are not that much of like tutorials or information how to properly set it up and for now all my uh, d indirect drawing uh, ends in this uh, result with these results but I am not losing hope and I think that I will ma manage it and after that I'm planning to uh, piece by piece moving some work from the CPU to the compute shaders and I hope that I will be able to make cooling with it, maybe uh, calculating of the modal transformations and hopefully animation transformations because it's like looks like this is my like the weakest part, parts uh, that are overwhelming CPU and uh, I'm, not, I'm very looking forward in order to try to fix it. Okay, I guess that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this small update video and uh, see you next week. Also, a uh, huge thanks for the supporters of my channel.